Boise State has started the season 10-2 with wins over Washington State, Colorado, and Texas A&M. An impressive feat with all the fresh faces the Broncos have this season. You know, we got this tough game against Santa Clara, and then it's the league, and it starts on the road at Nevada. I mean, it's game after game after game. So we have to really sharpen some things up, and and we're going to need everyone to get better. One of the players showing promise is Burley native Jace Whiting, who spent the last two years on an LDS mission in Finland. Over there in Finland, I was watching this team win the Mountain West Championship and like winning all those games last year. And so I was just chomping at a bit to get back because I want to be a part of that. It's really fun to watch them, but I just was itching to get back and couldn't wait to be back here and be a part of this team. And the Broncos needed Jace to step up after an injury to Marcus Shaver Jr. sidelined the Broncos' leading scorer. I mean, we don't win those three games without Shave, without Jace being able to, you know, do what he's done. Coach Rice didn't know how Jace would fit in with this team after not playing for two years, but Leon has been impressed with Jace's work ethic. Because he didn't make a shot for a couple months in practices, and but I knew he would because he's putting in the time. So, uh, and he's going to become an elite shooter is what he's going to become. He's already a really, really good one. For Jace and the rest of the newcomers, they have fit in nicely with the veterans as the non-conference season gave this squad a chance to come together. Everybody gets along super, super well, and like it feels like one big family already. Like. We're always joking and having fun in the locker room. Like it feels like a brotherhood. Coach Rice told us Marcus Shaver Jr. is really close to returning to the lineup, and that's good news for the Broncos, who could really use his playmaking ability as Boise State looks to defend their Mountain West crown. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.